So if it's easy for you to save money, it must be easy for you to lose weight too, right? Not so fast. Also, many people say that reducing your spending is the same principle as reducing your amount of calories you're gonna eat. So if you're counting every penny you spend, you must it must be easy for you to count every calorie you eat. I mean, does losing weight even depend on calories? And who even said that? Hey guys, and this video is going to be about whether saving money is the same um, as losing weight. So if it's easy for you to lose weight or save money, the other one should be easy too. From my experience, I found that it's not the same. I also found that sometimes saving money can actually cause you to gain weight. And you will ask, how by saving money can you actually gain weight? Well, first of all, because when you try to save money, you can you try not to waste any food. So, like, for my example, like, if my kid doesn't finish something on their plate, I might finish it. And thinking that, you know, if I finish their plate now, uh, the next meal I can eat less. And um, this will not waste any food. But what ends up happening that... I eat, I finish their food, and the next meal I'm hungry again, so I eat the usual portion. Does not save money really, but causes to gain weight. Also, sometimes we would have food that's like expiring soon, so um, we try to eat more of that to prevent to prevent from throwing it away. And of course, eating more than you would normally eat, it's. Um, not only doesn't save you money, but cause you to gain more weight. Also, when you're trying to save money, you might just eat what's on sale instead of like what will help you lose weight. Some people say that saving money is like a diet for your finances and like uh, not and like trying to lose weight is like a diet for your food. But I tried dieting so many times before and it just didn't work, like reducing the calories it just didn't work for me because first of all, I don't have time to count it. Uh, second, I don't want to spend more money on special diet than I normally spend because who wants to spend extra money, right? Um, then also, you know, like even though I might count every penny for what I spent, counting every calorie is just too hard because on, on everything, or like if you buy packaged food, it says how many calories it has. If you bake something or make something, you add a, like a cup of this and spoon of that. And, and you don't know how many calories in that thing. Especially if you making like a whole pot of it and you only eat... You don't, you don't even know if it's like eighth of the pot or tenth of the whatever you made. You, you don't measure it. So you don't know how many calories you're eating. So that's, that's where the difference is. So you don't even know like how much how many calories you're gonna eat like when you buy something you when you pay money for something you know okay this is twenty dollars for this and that but for like calories you eat like or drink uh something unless you really want to be a nerd about it and and really <laughs> count it you don't know how many calories it is so i decided that counting calories is just impossible for me so if you watch my previous video i talk about there that i eat only for six to eight hours a day and uh, for about 16 to 18 hours I don't eat so this way I was able to lose over 10 pounds now and it doesn't cost me any extra and all I have to the only restrictions is the time when I eat and when I eat I eat as much as I want whatever I want um, so so it's it's not the same as like spending money because you, Imagine if you would do that with money, like, okay, from this and this time, I'm not spending money, but from this and this time, I go to the store and spend all the money I have. <laughs> that would not work. But with food, because you can't really eat more than fits in your body, um, and I would not recommend overeat, but it's like, you can have a bigger meal, you can have a piece of candy with it, you can have whatever you want, but it just, it just works. So I... So that's why 
I concluded for myself that spending money and the diet is not the same. It doesn't work the same like many people think. When people save, try to save money, you're saving for a certain goal. What are you paying off your? You're saving some money because you're spending less to put um, towards your debt, to, towards your mortgage, or you're saving for a car or some other thing. So you're basically saving to spend it later. And maybe uh, by spending it now, you'll have to you're saving in a way that you would not have to spend more and extra later because you would not have to get a loan like let's say you're saving for a car right now uh, you can save up a ten thousand and get a decent car but if you would not save up money now you would have to get a loan and maybe buy used a uh, ten thousand dollar car but by the time you pay it off you'll pay off way more so but you're still spending money. I mean, you're still saving money right now, so you could um, spend it later on something you want. But you're just spend. You're gonna spend it in a more smarter way than if you would just spend it now. So when I like don't eat for a certain amount of time, but I'm gonna eat the same because like let's say I I'm craving this and this but I but I think okay I can eat it later when it's my eating time and I know because I'm gonna I'll I'll be able to eat this thing that I want later it's I'm not I don't feel as deprived as if like let's say I'm on a special diet like no carb diet and I want some candy because somebody else is having a candy and I'm like oh I can never eat candy like never ever because each candy will like gain me a pound or something and you if you think you can never have certain foods you're gonna crave them even more and when I was trying to eat less to lose weight I would constantly think about food, I would constantly crave all kinds of food, especially like stuff that you're not supposed to eat on that because I know, I knew like, okay, I can never have this if I want to lose weight, but the more you think that, the more you crave it and it's like, it, it gets too hard that you just give up. And when I know that, okay, I cannot eat, eat this right now because it's not the, my eating time, I can eat it later and this way, that's how it gets easy. and with you cannot do that with money you cannot just like okay i'm not spending anything now but the uh, next months or whenever it's my spending time i can go and spend all i want and, and buy a whole store i mean it's just not gonna work with money but it works with food also when you're trying to save money you might concentrate on money so much like you bait you uh build your um whatever you cook based on how much you cost and uh you know, you're trying to save money in other area, and you're constantly calculating everything. That um, you just you're just too busy and concentrated on saving money. You cannot really concentrate on one more thing to lose weight because um, when I watched some video when people are trying to lose weight, they count every calorie. They they uh, really research what they eat and all those things. And I'm like, that's that's too much work and if you're already working and have kids and doing all the housework at home and also trying to save money um additional task counting calories in addition to it uh, that's overwhelming that's too much so the only similar way um i found that saving money and uh, trying to lose weight is similar in my case uh, when I'm because I'm like eating only in a certain period of time and not eating the rest is like when you uh, it, it helps with your self-discipline because you can just wait um, like you're gonna wait to spend money be until it's there's a special sale or until you have enough money so you don't have to go in debt and same thing with intermediate fasting that you can um, wait you can you can still um have what you want but you can you have to wait until this uh specific time when you're actually eating so in this way they're similar and they're helping you with self-discipline but in all the traditional sense of saving um money and uh, trying to have less calories it's not the same at all and that's why you find uh many frugal people tr like um trying to lose weight and it's like hard and they think why is it hard it should be the same thing losing 
uh, weight is the same thing as saving money it's not it's not the same at all like spending less money for, and eating less calories um it's it's totally different um it, it's not it's not similar at all to me so please comment down and count in comments below whether uh saving money or um losing weight which one is easier for you and do you find that these are similar um like in their way like if it's easy for you to lose weight it must be easy for you to save money and the other way around um so which one is easier for you or if any of those are easy or hard for you please comment uh, below and thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet bye